good morning. So, I, every time I say good morning like that, I think of Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I'm just like, good morning, I've come to return the book I borrowed, and I'm pretty sure that's not the first time I said that. Anyway, so I am going doll hunting, yay! I know, finally, right? It has been a hot minute since I've gone out and gone doll hunting. Well, okay, it's not so much doll hunting as this is going to be a, like, thrift store slash clearance section shopping, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, um, I'm looking for discount stuff. <laughs> I am technically doll hunting, but I'm not looking for anything in particular. What I want to do today is I want to go to a couple stores like Walmart and Target and stuff like that and check out their clearance section because it's still pretty early. And later I want to go check out some thrift stores. And that's just because the thrift stores open later than like Walmart and Target normally do. If you want to hang out with me for a little while and see if I find any good deals, then just keep watching. Also, while you're here, subscribe. Uh, no particular reason, I'm just asking you to subscribe. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's head to whatever first store I end up going to. <laughs> I am at Walmart. I actually haven't been to this location for a while. I usually go to the one closer to my house. But the reason I wanted to go to Walmart is because I've been seeing online that Walmart has been putting a lot of Rainbow High dolls on clearance. So I want to check out the clearance section just to see if there's any that I wanted to get. So I am going to check out the clearance section first, but then the toy section is right over there. So I'll check that out after. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> for $9. Honestly, for my stock box, I almost feel like I need to grab one of her just because. <laughs> Are they all? Yeah, they're all Claudine. So let's see what else. <laughs> These are cute. I'm not going to get them because I don't need them. But for $5, this is a cute little pack of little Squishville Squishmallows. It's Toro. It's the Carnotaurus. That is really cool. Whoa. He's very pigeon toed. <laughs> Little Polly Pocket playset for only $9. Oh, they do have these Barbie Pop Reveal. I guess they were originally $20 down to $13. I'm still not like super interested in these. Otherwise, I might get one. But if it was less than $10, I would probably pick it up. But it's still $13. So I'm like, eh. They have some LOLs down there and Care Bears, but I'm not seeing anything else over here that I personally collect. And it looks like it's just the one aisle for clearance. So I'm gonna head over here to the toy section because sometimes they don't bother moving stuff to the clearance aisle. See, I'm seeing a lot of yellow tags. There's a lot of stuff on clearance right now. Some fashion packs, a lot of like Barbie Chelsea. Oh, wow. So they got a lot of um, Monster, well, a couple different options for Monster High. They got Torle on clearance for $9, and also Twyla is on clearance for $9. I don't know if I, $9, is, I don't know, I have so many dolls in my stock box, I don't know if I actually need to get her. If it was like super ridiculously low, I might pick these up, but I don't really need them because I already have some in my stock box. And that's just for the sake of customizing. Obviously, if I didn't already have these in my collection, I would totally be just picking these up. I think I'm gonna go put her back, by the way, uh, just because I don't really need her right now. But I mainly just wanted to show everybody what's on clearance. Oh, the live action Little Mermaid doll looks like, oh no, that's Elsa. She's in the wrong spot, hold on. I don't, okay, well, Elsa, I guess, is on clearance. Uh, this Rapunzel, is that the right one? Yeah, Rapunzel. Okay, so this Rapunzel looks like she's on clearance for $5. So if you want to get a Mattel Rapunzel to do like a body swap, that's not a bad price. Oh, that's right. I was going to look at some of these because I got that big like 
I don't know, group pack, eight pack. I don't remember how, how many dolls were in it, but I did a live stream. And um, there was a Pocahontas and a Jasmine in there, and they had polypropylene hair. But somebody told me that they have saran hair if you get them individually. I don't know if that's true, and I'm wondering if <laughs> I want to spend the eleven and a half dollars to get the individual ones to possibly go in with saran hair, or just reroute the ones that I have. <laughs> Oh, they have a whole bunch of the Mini Mixies Pixlings, and then they also have the Style Bay dolls. They are not as expensive as I thought they were. They're only $15. Interesting. Oh, more of the mix Pixlings. I'm tempted to get some of these fashion packs, because these actually look like really decent quality. The thing is, like, I don't have that many of these, and I prefer dolls that have more articulation. So I want to get these and put them on made-to-move bodies, but then I don't know if the shoes will fit. Because I think they have, yeah, they have, like, bigger feet. Hmm. I mean, it is mainly about the outfit, <laughs> more so than the shoes anyway, but that's okay. She is so gorgeous, though. Look at her face. Oh, I really want her now. <laughs> and there's a particular Latinista that I want to get, but I never find it. It's the one wearing the green outfit. Do they have, yeah, that one right there. But I haven't found her anywhere, and I'd rather find her in store if I can, rather than order her online. Oh, it looks like these fidget friends are on clearance for $7. I never got any of these. I never picked any up to check them out. I mean, I've seen them around, but the thing is, like, I want to review one, but at the same time, they're just not really my style of doll. And even though, yes, I want to review one for my channel since I review dolls, <laughs> um, I don't really want to get one if I don't like it. I don't, I don't know. Although, I mean, it's only $7. Oh, she's cute. She's like a little mushroom fairy. Oh, she looks really surprised. <laughs> but, oh, she's so cute. Okay, are all? I guess they're all on clearance for $7. Maybe I will pick one up and do a review for one of these. Okay, I was going to get the mushroom girl because I thought she was really cute, but I just realized that the mushroom doll is actually still full price. Uh, she must be one of the newer ones. It's these three that are um, on clearance. So I decided I'm not going to get one of these for right now just because I only want to buy stuff that I actually want to keep in my collection. Um, and this is not really something I'm interested in. So <laughs> I'm going to pass. All right, so this is what I came to. Oh, wow. Oh, cute. They have the um, Decora dolls. These are cute. I haven't decided if I'm going to get any of these just yet, but seeing them in person definitely helps me decide. I don't know. They're, this one's bigger than I thought, and these ones are smaller. I don't know if I... I might get one eventually, but there's one in particular that I want, and it's not necessarily the rainbow hair doll. <laughs> I think it's that one right there, Sweetie, or Heather. I don't know. It's one of those two. Um, but I'll have to wait to see them in person to decide. Um, this is not the price, by the way. This is, um, uh, Rainbow High Amaya. But anyway, oh, see, this is what I was talking about. These ones are on clearance for only $11. And I really want to get, wait, hold on, where is she? Her. This one right here. I forgot her name. But the fairy, I really want her. And if I can get her for $11, like I've been waiting to get these for so long. I'm gonna look at these. Cause for $11, <laughs> you know? Oh, she's actually really pretty. She's not exactly my style. And I decided with Rainbow High, I only wanna get the ones that I really want. Cause I'm, I'm not gonna get it to customize or anything like that. I only wanna get the ones I really like. And then there's this one, it's Robin. She is very beautiful. But I want her original doll. I don't really care for this one by comparison. Um, the sleepover one where she's like in pajamas. I want that one. Ooh, and these are all $3. All right, wait, are these the... Oh, these are the bags. I don't want the bags. I want the shoes. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, the bags are <laughs> $3 if you collect the Rainbow High bags. I don't. I don't need them. But I was hoping to get the shoes at that price. That would have been great. And then, of course, we've got the Bratz dolls. And... I still need to get Fiona and Tiana, but they are not on clearance, so I'm going to wait because this shopping trip is specifically getting clearance items. These are kind of cute. I don't think I've ever seen these before. They're basically the LOL version of Sky Dancers, kind of. <laughs> oh, we got another clearance Monster High doll for $11. I think I got mine at that price. Um, I, just, I think I just ordered it on Amazon. 
But, oh, rainbow high fat, are those, wait. None of us fuzzy surprise. Oh, okay, never mind. But those fuzzy surprise is on clearance for nine dollars apparently. If you can find any, I don't see any. But oh my god, these are seven dollars. Okay, I gotta get the one. I gotta get the panda girl now. Success. It's the right one this time. I checked. <laughs> um, also, some of these LOL OMG dolls look they're on clearance for seventeen dollars, but not what I'm looking for. Oh, they have more of the. Um, pop reveal dolls. Oh, Barbie cutie lion. Oh, that's a cutie reveal, but they're out. Anyway, so they have the Barbie movie dolls, and this is the only one that I actually wanted to get from the Barbie movie. Um, if I can find one that has a face that I like, I might actually pick her up today. And we have a winner, although her jaw looks really square. I don't know. <laughs> I've not been a fan of this face mold. Um, from the beginning, but I do want to have at least one Barbie from the Barbie movie, so this is gonna be it. Now, I know that I said that I was looking for, like, discount and clearance items, but I plan to get this anyway, and I know if I wait too long, I will miss out on it, probably. <laughs> so, I'm picking it up now, um, but I am getting this on clearance, so that's a win. All right, next stop, Target. And, of course, I'm in the Disney section, because it's me. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> They have the Illy dolls. Oh, wait. Oh, they don't have the... Do they have the newer... Ow! <laughs> Ow. Anyway, I got too excited. They do have the newer Illy dolls. Now, I have all the Disney Store ones, because those I got a video for are what... <laughs> I meant to say I made a video for already, and uh, if you want to see that, then I'll put a link up there, or yeah, I think it's up there. Anyway, um, so yeah, if you want to check that, where I have a story time on how I got all these dolls, go check out that video. Oh, I bent my nail. You can see where it bent right there too. Owie. <laughs> really quick I had to appreciate these 18 inch dolls I don't collect these so I don't I'm not gonna be getting any of them um, but I really like these 18 inch Illy dolls so and they have like fashion packs and everything so if you collect this size doll these are really cute and I've heard that they are compatible with American Girl and uh, our generation as well Here's the thing, if I was to get any of them, I think it would probably have to be her, because I like the brunette dolls and she's Little Mermaid themed. Uh, I think she's probably my favorite. She is really pretty, so I would get her. I love her outfit, so I might get her. And it's Stitch, in a Stitch onesie, how can I pass that up? Uh, I wish they had like these outfits, but for these dolls. Oh, they do have a similar one right here in a fashion pack. So you can get a fashion pack and you know, just in the, 12 inch doll size instead of the 18 inch doll size. Anyway, I do plan on getting the newer Jack specific versions of the Illy dolls, but oh, she's probably my favorite. I don't know, like they're $30. I am out for like discounts right now and clearance, so I don't wanna buy too many full price dolls. Plus I kinda wanna wait to see if I can get them on a sale. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna be strong, but I'll be back. <laughs> Now I've been to this Target recently and their clearance section wasn't super impressive, but let's see if anything's changed. Okay, this is where clearance stuff was at one point and now they're either switching everything out or whatever was here sold out real fast because <laughs> it's all empty. But no, I think a lot of the clearance stuff is like on back end caps over here. Yeah, this is pretty much it. Unfortunately, this Target's clearance section is kind of sad there's not a lot of great deals although they do have this doll right here it's the Bessie Coleman uh, inspiring women doll so that's actually really cool and she's only 1049 so even though the clearance section isn't very inspired <laughs> I want to come check these out so there is a couple new new ish monster high dolls that I want to get like this Draculaura for example and this Claudine I really really want to get them because I really like them but they're full price, so I gotta wait. And then of course they have both Fiona and Tiana here. Once again, still full price. I don't know, maybe I should return the Barbie and go these. <laughs> Shut up. They have Poppy. Oh my God, she's been like out everywhere. <laughs> I haven't seen her for a while. Unfortunately, she's not on sale, it doesn't look like, but oh my gosh. She was like the main one that I wanted from this particular set and she's always sold out, but. <laughs> Once again, full price. I don't know if I want to pick her up right now, or if I don't get her now, am I going to miss out at getting her full price? A regular price, I should say, because, like, she's on Amazon sometimes, but at a higher price. 
Okay, I don't know where this was supposed to go. It was just kind of randomly on the shelf here. But this is super cute. It's Pikachu and Togepi. Oh my gosh. So cute. Okay, these aren't on clearance, but they are on a sale. So you can get these marked down right now if you get them at Target. Hey, editing Chad here. I don't know how this happened, but this section, I accidentally was recording in time lapse, so everything was sped way up. So I tried to slow it down a little bit. I'm basically just looking at the Barbie section, not finding anything new. These new fairy ones are really cute. I might talk about them later on. Um, there was one that kind of disheveled in the box there. Uh, looking at the Disney section again, but nothing else that I really want to pick up right now. So I'm going to head out and go to another store. All right, here's a new thrift store I haven't been to before. I don't even know if they have a toy section, but we'll find out. Okay, they have a small little toy section here. Just kind of quick overview. They have some cute stuff, but I don't know if it's going to be necessarily anything I'm looking for. Oh, these are like little Disney princess pets. These are cute. Somebody must have donated like their whole collection of them. But I always look to, like to look through these because you never know if there's going to be a pony hiding. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So here's some more. Oh, the hair adorables. I got a box of girls. And stuff. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's a little... Is that a... I don't think that's a Polly Pocket. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, that's Polly Pocket, though. Look at that. 2000s. Oh, and another one. With the rubbery clothing. Oh, that's cute. For only $9.88. Interesting. I mean, I don't collect Polly Pocket. How much is this one, I wonder? $7.88. Okay. I don't collect this kind of Polly Pocket. Oh, this is cute. I want. This is probably a Polly car. And then this is a little house Polly Pocket. How much is this? $12.88. Okay. Yeah, I don't collect Polly Pocket, but these are really cute. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Here. The big house with a couple different little dolls. I didn't know that this size doll had rooted hair. That's kind of cool. And then that looks fun. So I just have to show you back in this corner this vintage Minnie Mouse plushie still in the box. And it looks like she's got a stand behind her, but wow. For $45, I wonder what year she came out. She looks older. So I didn't end up finding anything at that particular thrift store, but I love checking those stores out because I found some real gems at like random mom and pop shop or hole in the wall or whatever, however you want to determine. It's not a big chain like Goodwill. Um, you know, it's just that individual thrift store that I've never been to before, but I come by here all the time. Like it's kind of in the area that I normally spend most of my time or do things in this area. So I'm surprised it must, I don't know if it's new cause it was very clean and very organized. So it might actually be a new thrift store. Not hundred percent sure, but it was really cute and I'll have to check back there. Um, you know, some other time or like when I do my rounds. So fellow doll collectors, anybody watching, tell me if you do this as well. So earlier you saw that I got that roller skating Barbie, which is a Barbie that I have had my eye on and I would like to get. Um, it was the only Barbie in the lineup from the Barbie movie dolls that came out that I planned on getting. Um, so I bought it and I don't necessarily regret getting it because it is a doll that I've wanted to get. However, two things. One, this is supposed to be a thrifting slash discount bargain. You know, like I'm, I'm looking for clearance items and thrifted items and stuff like that. So I pay, you know, like cheap prices basically. Um, also there are other dolls that are currently full price that I want more than I want that Barbie. To be fair, they're a little bit more expensive by like $5 or, you know, depending on which doll we're talking about. But um, <laughs> I've been sitting here thinking about returning the Barbie and then getting one of the other dolls, like one of the Jack Specific Illy dolls or one of the other Bratz dolls that I haven't gotten yet. I don't know, does anybody else do that? Like you buy something and then you have buyer's remorse and then want to return it? Cause that's what's going on in my head right now. <laughs> And it's like not something I normally put in these videos, but I figured if anybody would understand, it'd probably be the people watching these videos. So let me know in the comment section if you can relate. <laughs> 
All right, so it is lunchtime, uh, or at least I'm hungry. <laughs> and um, one of my friends works over here at Buca de Beppo in Roseville. Uh, so I am going to stop by and get some lunch because uh, I'm kind of in the mood for some spaghetti. And I figure I can bug her at work, so, you know, win-win. <laughs> All right, I made it, and here is Vicky. Hi. Hi, Vicky. Hi. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So she made me a special drink. It's a cherry Pepsi. I put cherries in Cherries and grenadine. There's the cherries at the bottom. Oh, I didn't know they sunk down the wrong. That's okay. <laughs> they're, they're still there. But anyway, okay, now I gotta decide. There's too many options. This is your fault, there's too many options. You... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so we've got the bread, and it's like oil and vinegar, and basically you mix these, and it's so yummy. Oh, dang. When you said meatball, you weren't joking. <laughs> this is a meatball. Huge. It's a meat boulder. Indiana Jones would run from this. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. <laughs> liked our service, rate us five out of five. And if you didn't like your service, please rate us five out of five. Oh. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you guys come to Buca de Beppo, make sure you tip her really well. Aw, thank you. <laughs> well, that was a good lunch. I always think it's awkward when I go to see my friends at work because technically we're not there to hang out. They are there to work. <laughs> so it's like, you know, I don't want to distract them or, you know, monopolize all their time or anything like that. Um, but it was still fun. It was, it was nice because it was relatively not busy. So during lunchtime, I think that they're busier during the day or during, uh, dinner time. But anyway, um, now I'm heading over this direction. <laughs> um, I'm in Roseville right now. So, um, I think I'm going to head over to, I think Douglas, there's a once upon a child that, that I haven't been to for a while. And people have been, I, I've been seeing like other doll YouTubers that are like, doll hunting and they're having good luck at Once Upon a Child and I always forget to go to that store. So um, I'm just going to go check it out. I've never really, I haven't had too much luck at Once Upon a Child in the past, but it doesn't hurt to check. Once Upon a Child. <laughs> oh, that's right. This location, they have a lot of the stuff up in these tubs. So I'm going to have to look through them in a little bit, but I want to go check in the back first. All right. So <laughs> their toy section is a little messy, but that's okay. It's not the worst I've seen. They've got these bagged items. I just gotta check behind just to see if there's anything. Oh, these are cute. They're not my little ponies, but they are little horses. Um, <laughs> some of these kind of horses. Oh, DC Superhero Girls. I think that's not the, the reboot one though. And Princess Leia. So they have some bagged dolls. Are those stuffy love? I think they might be. What are these? Oh, some. That's a hair, hair amazing, and that one is a glitter girls or glitzy girl. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Budget dolls, and then they have a couple inbox dolls. I wonder what they price them at. Ten dollars. That's not bad. This is like one of those brand new ones that I just saw at Target. And then what's this? Oh, it's one of the hair hair played dolls. Nine fifty. Once again, definitely not a bad price, actually, for being new in box. Not what I'm looking for, but oh, sorry. <laughs> Here, put it back where it was. It was like that. I'll leave it the way I found it. modern dolls. Oh, one DC superhero girls though. 
didn't have much luck there, but that's okay. Um, like I said, I don't, I haven't had much luck at the Once Upon a Child stores recently, but you know, it never hurts to check. I think I already said that earlier. <laughs> All right, next up is one of my favorite thrift stores, Eco Thrift. So they've got these over here, and there's some pretty interesting <laughs> like a little cat. And Cabbage Patch Kid. An old Minnie Mouse. I think this is supposed to be a troll. <laughs> oh, that's definitely a troll. <laughs> so we have some stuff back there, like a rainbow hide all and stuff, but I saw this caught my attention, but turns out it's a fakie. Oh, there's two of them. Blue one and a green. But I always like to look a little closer just to make sure. Oh, care bear. I wouldn't mind picking these two up. They're actually pretty good fakies, but not for that much. All right, so we've got all the bagged stuff. They've got a couple rainbow high dolls. There's a Bella Parker. Got a Karma. Oh, and a Skyler. Cheer Skyler without the outfit. That's some 2000s Barbies, modern Barbies. A couple Ken dolls. Oh, Cave Club, a Disney store. Oh, one of the birthday Barbies. Hmm. Little fingerlings. Another Skylar, but she's got her outfit. Oh, it's a made to move. For six dollars? She has both her hands and feet. I think I'm gonna pick it up for that price. Oh, there's an Aladdin. I don't think I have Aladdin. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, it's another fakie. Faked me out. <laughs> it is like super busy here today, but that's okay. I found a made to move Barbie, so I'm gonna pick it up since it's only six bucks or seven, six ninety nine. Yeah. Well, that was fun. It's been a while since I've gone uh, doll hunting thrift store hunting, that kind of stuff. I did intend to go to a couple more thrift stores and maybe even another uh, Walmart to check out their clearance section, um, but I just kind of ran out of time. I mentioned in one of my previous videos that we're remodeling the kitchen and everything, and I actually need to move a bunch of my stuff, and in fact, I'm going through a lot of my collection, and I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of dolls and stuff like that, so um, I, I just wanted to be productive today, and I don't want to be out too much because I are too long because I do need to do that stuff as well and I, I want to get that done before the end of this weekend it's only Friday right now as I'm uh, filming this but uh, so I do still have the rest of the weekend but I'd like to get it done early so then I can just relax and enjoy my weekend I don't know if I'm gonna be going out later on in like either tomorrow or on Sunday um, if I do I'll record it and I'll include it in this video but just in case if I don't <laughs> end up going out and doing some more uh, doll hunting and everything uh, I'll go ahead and close it out here so thank you so much for watching I genuinely appreciate it I hope you had fun um, and you know it's always interesting to see what's on clearance what's on sale you know stuff like that also finding some new thrift stores to check out and just seeing what they happen to have on the shelves but that's gonna be it for right now. I'm gonna get going. Thank you so much for watching. As always, let me know in the comment section if you spotted anything that I didn't notice while I was going through the thrift stores or the clearance sections, if there was anything that you would have picked up yourself if you saw it. So anyway, okay, thanks so much for watching and I hope I see you next time. Bye. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.